Hi. So some time ago I showed you the LED installation I did on the FMS T28 800mm and that was a fairly short flight also. So today I am actually going to show you a full flight uh, doing lots of uh, aerobatics and um, whatnot. But actually uh, after I flew this uh, T28 the first time uh, I did the, the LED installation uh, before I had the maiden flight uh, and then I, I thought well could it be possible to actually put flaps on this one? Well it can so I did so here's the, the FMS then and as you can see I, there are flaps installed and if you look underneath um, I actually just cut out this part uh, to have the flaps over here and I uh, did actually make a, a pit for the servo so I bought uh, the uh, Emax, uh, I think this is 8 gram uh, uh, servos uh, and I actually had like uh, servo horns and, uh, and push rods uh, already so they are uh, on each wing and I actually did just run the cables alongside the, the cables for the uh, aileron cables and the uh, LD cables. So uh, to me at least now it's a fully featured FMS, uh, except it doesn't have retract landing gears. But the LD lights, um, flaps, uh, fully featured. And the thing is I when I actually installed the flaps and uh, did set up my TX, <coughs> I didn't actually have the uh, too aggressive angle on the flaps uh, uh, during this uh, first uh, flap made in the flight if you would like it. Uh, uh, so um, um, the effect is not that severe really but I will certainly do more flights and experience more with the um, uh, flaps to have a, a steeper angle to have the, the airplane to, f to slow down even more. But I just want to have a flight to, to actually try and kind of test it. And if you look inside, I actually also cleaned up the inside. So now all the cables are actually put together with a zip tie. Uh, so the, I think the installation is, is quite good actually, even though there's a lot of cables inside from, from the LED and from the, um, the flaps. So let's go out and fly this one. So finally it's time to do a proper maiden. I did the first flight just to show off the LED installation and today I will do a proper maiden. So let's get up in the air. So takeoff flaps are off now. So it's also interesting because I installed the flaps so uh, we'll see if everything works as it should. I have like a... Uh, I have no down mix on the elevator for the um, takeoff flaps, but I have like 20% um, elevator compensation for the landing flaps. Uh, I didn't make the flaps actually too aggressive, so I have a lot of more um, uh, angle of the flaps that I can use in the future, but I just want to see that they actually work. So, making a few turns to uh, to just get a, some feeling for this one. It does, you know, fly super nice, steady. So one more turn and then uh, I will let it loose to let just do a roll. No problems doing this. I am running, running this one, a two cell uh, 1300 uh, LiPo battery. And as I believe you can actually run this also on three cell, but I I don't have uh, three cell batteries in that in that uh, that, that range, so uh, I have to make do with the two cell. Really snappy roll if you like to. Nice gentle loop. I have to say this just actually feel so so nice to to fly this one it's just you know nothing strange going on I guess the AS3X does help a bit um, I'm out of safe of course um, and I have to say the 
I mean, it's such a nice flying um, RC airplane, this T-28, even though it's a scale down. I really understand why it uh, was so popular in the US Navy uh, and used so much because uh, it looks great and it just flies so nice. So I really have to get back to another flight uh, with the, the T-28 when I actually have a, a more steep angle of the flaps to experiment more uh, how actually how slow I can go because as you can see you can go quite slow but it's not a slow fly by design at least not in the 800 millimeter size so uh, a bit more experimenting with the flaps um, which you know might just give you a nice slow flying speed And I like to do this you know, wide turns. And actually, um, it's difficult to, uh, because the traffic, nearby traffic, is actually uh, muting the, the sound from the airplane. But this, this plan, airplane is actually really, really silent. It's not as silent as the Volantex because the Volantex you almost don't hear anything. But this one is also very silent, so, um, and I like it. Um, I really hate the, uh, the the screaming noise from the UMX uh, RC airplanes, and, but this one is just you know super nice, no uh, odd noise from from the prop or anything, and actually the three bladed prop, oh, it just looks fantastic. So so far everything I'm just throwing at this one uh, just does without hesitation or without any strange thing happen. So I'm about to line up for a landing. So I'm deploying uh, full landing flaps and I will make a few uh, laps around the landing site before I actually touch down and just look at this beauty, the T-28, it's just so, so nice looking. One more turn before landing. There and yeah, nice landing. Oops, well, <laughs> yeah, gotta hit something on the grass. So, here it is the FMS T28 800 millimeter. And I have to say, it's just a fantastic looker, it's a fantastic flyer. So, I mean, that was just a really nice flight and I have to say the T-28, it just flies so, so straight, so, uh, you know, nothing uh, strange going on. I think all the aerobatics I did, the loops and rolls uh, and the coordinated turns, it just worked fantastic. I think the size of the 800 millimeter is just perfect, to me at least. It's not too big and it's not too small, it does not weigh too much either. And it's just a manageable size, really. And I think the, the all the uh, LED installation on this one uh, just makes it even better looking. I didn't do the flaps too aggressive this time. Um, so I have, I have my DX8 bound. So if I deploy flaps, you can see that they are, they are deploying. If I have an angle like this, you can see they are actually deploying. It's not a perfect solution because there is a, some sort of, uh, the flaps do bend a bit, so maybe I have to reinforce them somehow. But uh, I mean, it didn't uh, affect the flight when I, when I flew it, so, uh, so I think it's great. And I'm also flying um, this one on the 1300 mm uh, milliamp uh, uh, batteries in this size, and I get about maybe six minutes flight time, six or seven minutes, which I think is just nice. And so I've marked the CG on the wings. If we just check the CG, it uh, should be right about where it should be. So it does balance really nice. And uh, I actually have the, have the battery uh, pushed in almost all the way in. So I, in this position. And actually I had to, to cut the, uh, the canopy uh, uh, underneath just a tad. So 
So this part just has to you know, shave some uh, foam off to actually uh, be able to put the, the lid uh, with the battery in this position. But I mean, I have to say the T28 uh, is one of my favorite warbirds. And uh, this one, I mean, I hope they would just survive a long time and, and provide me with a lot of fun flights because, you know, I like it a lot.